This is a little babka, babka with <laughs> Nutella. Guys, welcome to Babka Heaven, where chocolate dreams come true. Oh yes, they do. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Play. It's Babka time with Anthony Silvio, the master of bakers here for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. He's showing us how to make Babka and today we chose Nutella. <sighs> Can I have this one? Not yet, it now? Not, yet, not yet. We have to show you how to make it first. <laughs> How do you make it, Anthony? Let's do it. To make our Babka today, first we're going to need to make our brioche dough, rest it in the fridge overnight, and then tomorrow we're going to come back, fill it with luscious Nutella, roll it up, shape it, proof it, and finally bake it. You are going to love it. Let's do it. Here is how you make the dough. Here is 110 grams of some buttermilk. We've got 100 grams of cultured butter. Then we're going to use two eggs. I'm going to use one whole egg, and then I'm going to use the yolk of another egg. Then we're going to add our dry ingredients. I've got 250 grams of plain flour, 10 grams of white sugar, six grams of sea salt, and four grams of dried yeast. The first step before we mix our dough, we're going to add in all of our wet ingredients. So let's start with the buttermilk. Now I'm going to add in the egg yolk, and now I'm going to add in the whole egg. Now we're going to add in all of our dry ingredients. All at once. All at once. The flour, the salt, the yeast, and the sugar. Now we need to use the hook attachment and pop this down. And we're going to mix it on about a medium speed until the dough is nicely developed and starting to come away from the sides of the bowl. So it could take up to 10 minutes. Different flours will take different amounts of time, but just be patient. Halfway through mixing, you can see that the dough has become quite loose and sticky. So what we're going to do at this stage, so I'm just going to stop the machine for a moment and just use a cake spatula to actually scrape down the sides of the bowl. We want to make sure that the dough is incorporated properly, okay? We'll just do this for a moment, just takes a second. And then we'll pop it back into the mixer and turn the machine back on so that it can continue to mix until it's fully developed. And what you're going to start to see over the next few minutes or so is the dough will start to unstick from the sides of the bowl and become much more strong. Now it's time to start adding our butter to the dough and continue mixing it until it's fully developed and it's fully coming away from the sides of the bowl. So while the mixer is running, just on a medium speed, I'm going to start to add the butter piece by piece. Wow, beautiful dough. It is beautiful, very there's soft there. No way though. we can do this by hand. No, it's too soft the dough, too sticky. And there's a very high content of butter in there. So it needs to be done um, in the mixer. Adding the butter slowly, bit by bit, while it's mixing. See how the dough is nice and strong now? It's fully developed. And it's pulling away from the sides of the bowl. It's nice and shiny. Just give it another 10 seconds and then it's going to be ready to put away. There we are. Oh yeah, very nice. Shiny, smooth. Okay, now that our dough is fully mixed, it's time to take it out. We're going to carefully handle it, okay? Remember the dough is very supple and very delicate. So I just gently fold it over my hands like this to create a little bit of a tight skin. And then we're going to put it away into a container. So we're going to place this in the fridge overnight so it's going to ferment and we'll see you tomorrow. Now that our dough has rested overnight in the fridge, it's time to roll it out on the bench. We're going to take our dough out onto a well floured bench. 
Try and be gentle with it. Should feel nice and cold and nice and hard as the butter is solidified in the fridge overnight. Dust on top with some flour and then use a rolling pin to begin to pin this out so that it's 30 centimeters wide on each side. Make sure when you're rolling out your dough that you're only moving forward and backwards, okay? You don't move the pin around. You go forward and backwards with the pin, you stop, and then you move your dough. This will help to keep your dough nice and square. And just be patient, gentle motions back and forth. What I'm going to do is use a ruler to make sure that I've got the correct measurements. Let's check the dough. Okay, perfect. So there's our 30 centimeters. We'll check the other side as well so that we've got a perfect square. And we're just a little bit over. There we are. That's our 30 centimeters on either side. It's time to spread liberally with some beautiful Nutella. Let's do it. I'm going to use about 250 grams of this beautiful, luscious mixture. Now we're going to start to spread the Nutella. Oh, look at that. It's so luscious. You seem to be very, very gentle. I'll very gentle. Right now. It's very soft, especially the brioche dough, because once it sits out of the fridge and we start to handle the dough and roll it out, the butter becomes more and more warm and it becomes more soft and more difficult to work with. So we can do, we can put anything in babka, can we? Absolutely, you can do lots of delicious fillings. You can even put some crushed nuts, choc chips, be absolutely beautiful. So you wanna leave the edges uh, empty, like when you make a pizza? Yeah, we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap on the edge and that's just gonna make it easier for us to roll up in a moment. Okay, starting from the bottom and then working to the top, we're going to start to roll this nice and tightly. So first, fold a little bit over just to get you started. Then you can start to roll it bit by bit. Keep rolling this all the way to the end, nice and gently, keeping the sides in. And when you get to the end, you can just pinch together the dough a little bit to help it stick. We wanna get a nice log that's even all the way through with the edges tucked in. Now we're going to place this log onto a tray and pop it into the fridge for 20 minutes so that our butter can solidify back up again. We're going to put our dough onto lightly floured bench and it's time to use a nice serrated bread knife to cut this directly down the center. Be nice and gentle. Go, you ready? Ooh, look at that. Look, at, that there. look yeah. at the beautiful layers. Oh yes, baby. <laughs> oh yes. I have to separate my two halves. Nutella heaven. I'm going to place it this way so that the inside of our dough, which has the Nutella, is facing up. And I'm going to create a cross, an X, just like this. Okay, now we're going to simply twist these. Make sure that when you do twist, that you're leaving the inside of the dough where the Nutella is facing up. That's going to be our presentation side. And once you've twisted it a couple of times, continue with the same swirling pattern. And once you've swirled it a couple of times, you've twisted a couple of times, just pinch the ends together. And there's our babka. But look at that, wow, that looks amazing. The pattern looks great. Today, the mold that I'm using is a 20 centimeter cake tin, and it's in a loaf pan, okay, because we have a long shape. And the way I'm going to prepare it is I've just got two pieces of baking paper, a long one that's going to be popped in the tin this way and then one more that'll go the opposite way and that's going to allow our dough not to stick to the pan but also will make for very easy removal okay make sure that it's nice and pressed in then we're going to scoop under and move it over into our tin 
Okay, now that our bubka is placed into our tin, we're going to cover completely, nice and tightly, in plastic wrap. We want to create a nice humid environment inside of the cake tin so that it stays moist, doesn't dry out. And that's going to proof at room temperature now for one hour. It's been one hour that our bubka has been proofing inside of the tin. And you can see that it's grown a little bit in volume. It smells so good. Oh, it smells lovely. Now it's time to bake. So we're going to first cover it with some foil completely. And you're going to bake this in at 170 degrees Celsius fan force for half an hour. For the first 20 minutes, we're going to leave the foil on. After 20 minutes, we'll remove the foil and then continue to bake your bubka with the foil off for a further 10 minutes to brown up the crust. While the bubka is baking in the oven, it's time to make our syrup to brush over the top. And it's a simple syrup, so it's equal quantities of sugar to water. I'm using half a cup of white sugar and half a cup of water. I'm gonna pop that onto the flame, stir, and bring the mixture to the boil. Once your syrup mixture comes to the boil, continue boiling for a further four to five minutes until it's nice and syrupy. So is it ready now? Yeah, it looks perfect. You can turn that off and just leave it. So it's been 20 minutes, our bubka's in the oven with the foil on. It's time to remove the foil. Ooh. You can see how grass. beautiful and expanded. Hello, baby. <laughs> so now let's place this back into the oven uncovered for a further 10 minutes to get a nice deep golden crust. Look at that, it's just come out of the oven. It's beautiful and brown. You can see the swirls of that lovely Nutella going through. I just cannot wait to taste it. Let's finish this bubka with the beautiful simple syrup. Drizzle it all over. What is the syrup doing to the bubka? Okay, the syrup is going to keep that crust nice and soft on the outside and it's gonna soak into the brioche dough and make it really super luscious. We take it out now, it'll be too hot, right? Yeah. After resting the glazed bubka in the tin for five to 10 minutes, using the baking paper, we can easily remove it. And we want to allow this to cool to room temperature so it's ready to eat. We've let our bubka cool down for about an hour after baking. Now it's time to cut it. Look at the beautiful swell of that Nutella throughout our bubka. Can't wait to cut it open and see what it looks like inside. Let's have a look. Yeah. Wow. Vincenzo, look at these layers. Oh. That is absolutely to die for. Wow. Mr. Silvio, yeah. what time is it? It is the moment that you've been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> it's babka time. Woo, let's do Come it. on, let's have it. Look okay. at that. Look at a big slice. Oh. Look at the Nutella still melting. It's almost falling apart. It's so moist. Mm. Mm. I can smell love. Combination of love and Nutella. Mm. I can smell a lot of Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please guys, write a comment below for Mr. Silvio. Mm. He's such a nice guy. Should we, ta well, should we taste it? Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. Mm. That is wicked. I can't speak anymore. Look mm. at the Nutella. Look at, look at how creamy. Oh. Look at how creamy. Look how marvelous. I think we might have used the whole jar. Ah, use more next time. <laughs> the more the better. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Please write a comment for Mr. Anthony. Anthony, do you want to say something to our friends? No, just thank you very much. It's been great doing the baking series. And mm. let us know if you want to see any more baking recipes with bread or some sweets. And um, Vincenzo can come past and we can film some more. Anytime. Yeah. See you in the next Vincenzo's <laughs> Play video recipe. 
E ora si mangia. Ciao. Vincenzo's play. It's babka time, guys. Make this. Thank God, the person that created babka. <laughs> Thank you for taking the babka to the next level. Thank you. And thanks to Nutella, too. Mm -hmm. mm.